This is a Get Your Geek establishment. Get Your Geek stand up. up, up. Hi, yes, this is Ghetto Geek and this is Ghetto Geek TV and we're live right now again in Harlesden's, this is Word Up and um, we've got a wonderful, amazing, I haven't got any more superlatives oh, to actually right. be able to say <laughs> for this absolutely like fireball of a poet, check her name out, you don't know, it's Desiree, yes. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I don't want you to have that burden of creativity. I want you to use logic and think systematically because the imagination can be a dark and lonely place. So use it wisely. But then again, so can a mirror. But I'll remind you of how beautiful you are every single day and I'll keep my own insecurities hidden away so you grow up with a confidence running through your bloodstream, but a modesty. So if someone tells you you're beautiful, you're like, who? Me. And though some of your beauty lies on your skin, real beauty comes from within, so be a good person, okay? Good, I'm good. You just came off after killing the mic again. <laughs> yeah, Big Daddy Kane dropped the mic kind of situations, honestly. It's an amazing point. Tell us a little bit about this, because I thought it was a really interesting perception, perspective of um, your potential daughter. Yeah, talk to me about that. Um, I think it just came from, like, I have a really, really strong relationship with my mum, so we are really close. So I think it's just, like, emulating everything that she's been to me, I would want to be. Her. Pay it that forward. Sort of yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. yeah. <laughs> so it's clear already. I'm just getting from you that a lot of your drive is coming from your upbringing, from your mum. Yeah. But I'm thinking about your sort of experience of actually um, making these amazing words and your, your, your experience of poetry. Is that linked to like? Is your mum a wordsmith as well? Is she good with her she words? She hate me for telling you this. Yeah. yeah but she used to rap. Ah, yes. <laughs> and that, no, get a geek. She's yes, like, Mama Desiree. <laughs> yes, I like it. I she like it. Rap, so she has this one rap that she does all the time. Oh, so, how'd it go? How'd it go? How'd it go? No, no, I'm not. Oh, you got to do I'm exclusive. <laughs> Mama Desiree, please come to Get a Geek TV. I'm get Shout girl. out to you. She would love it. Get some comments. Please get Mama Desiree <laughs> to find out, you know, how this process came about. She'll probably do it. Though. Yeah, yeah. We'll do but um, yeah, she used to, and I think I've always been encouraged to mm. to be that like mm. creative person. Mm. I. I started out like when Ryan first came out, and then it was that whole. I started there. So you were look, you, so you dropped it. You were on the mic as well. You were on the uh, crime and everything as well. Average. Uh, <laughs> so what were you, MC Desiree as well? <laughs> We had a little oh, crew was, and everything. What's the name? What's the crew's name? It was darker. Oh my darker. God. No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, how is this even happening? <laughs> this is wicked. No, it's all coming out. This it is therapy, is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. But I'll teach you to use your words. I'll teach you the power of them, the beauty of them, and the implications that they carry. But I'll also teach you the beauty in silence. And that there's no shame in crying. But get yourself back up, no matter what, because pain, that's temporary. I want you to read books like the words will run off the page. I want you to know the lyrics to all of the greats. So when the Erica Badu song comes on, you start singing along like you were born in her day because baby girl you're a queen and sometimes you'll forget and sometimes you'll let people take you for less but if they don't want you at your worst baby they don't deserve you at your best see my love i was raised by queens women who held entire families on their backs like a rucksack women women who were born fighting born crying stay surviving and soon you'll realize this world wasn't made for you a little question then Especially now, I realise you're into it. Uh, so really, I'm learning a lot there. Because you know, you've got a really fantastic, authentic kind of really spoken word voice, but that's kind of originated I, from growing. I think it was that whole like I had a lot to say, but like only like this amount of time to say it in, and it was like like you had to keep to a certain thing. Whereas yeah. I, I feel like I can play more around with spoken words. Yeah. And people are actually listening. Yeah, and so like, because that, there's that thing with grime that you say like one thing and then everyone goes mad. <laughs> 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 and then you're like, um, I had chronic. some other stuff. Yeah, this was extended metaphor. <laughs> you got to work me. I'm scheming on you. Charlie exactly. Clips, man. Gosh. Baby, <laughs> <laughs> punch on Exactly. <laughs> you know I mean? Like, come on. That wasn't it. <laughs> Do you know what? So you kind of answer my question that I have to ask all the artists actually yeah. is what is the difference between rap and poetry? Isn't it one in the same? Okay, tell me. Like, I remember one one of my friends always said to me, rap is rhythm and poetry. It's, oh, no. That is what it is. It's, okay. If you put a beat behind it, then it's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so you would disagree if there have been any differences. You're basically saying, well, no, it really is spoken word, yeah. but over a beat. Yeah, or yeah. is spoken word rap, but without the beat? Ooh. A new little life. <laughs> Listen, do you know how upset I am that I really want to try and see if we can actually conclude this interview again because I'm absolutely devastated that we've lost the valuable time because we've just scratched the surface of getting to know Desiree. So thank you so much. If you don't get that chance, this is Ghetto Geek TV signing out. Blah.
message almost, like a seed almost is like buried alive. Yeah. And then for it to grow into a, it, 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 it reaches trials and tribulations. What kind of influences? What got you to get such a creative form of writing? Um, like I'm an estate kid, so writing what you know. That's what I recommend when I do workshops in schools with young people. I kind of recommend them writing the stuff they know, and then you can go on to like imagine worlds and make things up and stuff. But I think with poetry, it's quite personal. Yeah. And so the stuff that really comes through and feels authentic yeah. is the stuff that's coming from straight from your heart. Really.